Today, we're diving into AI upscaling, comparing NVIDIA, AMD, and Intel. But it's not a direct comparison. Think of it as comparing apples, oranges, and bananas. We'll benchmark these upscalers on four games, three supporting ray tracing, also considering value and power consumption. However, note that not all features are available on every card. For instance, DLSS 3 is exclusive to the 40 series, while DLSS 2 is limited to the 20 and 30 series. And game support varies, meaning performance boosts can differ. We're omitting FSR 3 since it's only in two games. It's like judging a movie by its trailer. Ready for this tech ride? Let's dive straight in. Join me as we explore 1080p rasterization in Cyberpunk. It's a game changer, like viewing a celebrity in crystal clear HD. The 4060 Ti blitzes ahead, leaving others behind. The 4060 is close behind, surprising even the 3060 Ti. Other games tell a similar tale. Predictability reigns. The RK750, our hopeful underdog, remains at the rear. It reminds me of that friend who thinks of the star of karaoke, but always finishes last. But in Hitman 3, it throws a curveball. The 3060 overtakes the 4060, contradicting our expectations. Perhaps it's the VRAM, or maybe the 4060 is just off its game. In Spider-Man, NVIDIA's dominance persists. The 3060 with its DLSS 2 gracefully surpasses the 6750 XT. When it comes to the average FPS, the 4060 Ti leads, outperforming its predecessor by 34% and the 6750 XT by 37%. The 4060 stands out, outdoing its older counterpart by 14%, thanks to DLSS 3. But the lower end radians? They're struggling. As for the RK750, it sadly remains last. Here's a thought though. Shouldn't these cards perform this well without tricks? The 4060 Ti's stellar showing feels true to life, but it underscores Nvidia's reliance on tech over raw power. We're zooming into 1440p, the golden middle between HD and 4K. Think the packing order would reshuffle Think again. The 4060 Ti holds the top spot, with the 4060 closely behind, even besting the 3060 Ti. It's like the younger sibling taking the spotlight at a reunion. The 6750 XT, powered by FSR, chases the 4060, showcasing its frame generation. Yet the 6650 XT and 7600 seem to lag behind, with the RK750 trailing, signaling some work ahead for XCSS. Stats time. The 4060 Ti leads the 3060 by 22%. The 4060 follows suit, emphasizing the 4060's prowess, but the RX 7600 lags behind the 4060 by 40%. Clearly outmatched. In this 1440p showdown, Nvidia's 4060 Ti and 4060 shine, with nods to the 3060, 3060 Ti and 6750 XT. The lower end radians with FSR still have some training to do. Let's unravel the world of rasterization. Picture this, the 3060 is the high school star, dominating both in sports and academics, thanks to its DLSS 2 boost. Think of it as the car with excellent mileage, the best value for your money. So if value is a game, the 3060 is in your frame, but the 4060? It's the surprise package, marching proudly alongside its counterpart, the 4060 Ti. It seems Nvidia has a family of prodigies, where even the pet's probably a genius. However, a note on the 4060 Ti, while it's finding bonus cash in your pocket, remember its prowess comes from frame generation, a boost not universally supported. On to efficiency, the 4060 Ti stands out, boasting 2.1 times more efficiency than its predecessor, like a pro athlete versus a casual jogger. The 4060 trails just behind with an 83% efficiency boost. Comparing with the 6750 XT and 7600, the video remains top chef. The 4060 Ti outpaces the 6750 XT by 83%, and the 4060 even leads the 7600 behind by 58%. In conclusion, efficiency and value do mingle and sometimes unexpected stars emerge. Keep your graphics sharp and your tech efficient until the next slide. Tech fans, let's dive into ray tracing and 1080p and see who shines and who's dimming out. Lighting matters, and while AMD's trying, they're more a torch than the candlelit dinner in their ray tracing and upscaling game. In the GPU Elite, the 4060 Ti is reigning supreme, with the 4060 clinching second place thanks to their frame generation magic. It's like they got an extra set of glow sticks. The unexpected star? The A750. All thanks to XCSS, it's soaring past the 7600 and 6650 XT. AMD, meanwhile, lags behind. Even the 6750 XT can't quite catch the 3060. Onto stats. The 4060 Ti outshines the 3060 Ti by 47%. The 4060 also impresses, leading by 27% over its predecessor. When pitted against the 6750 XT, the 4060 Ti is ahead by 82%, and the 4060? It's doubling the performance 
performance against the 7600 and 6650 ST. Props to the A750 proving that underdogs can also shine. In conclusion, ray tracing 1080p showcases the luminaries, the dark horses, and those needing a brighter model. Tech enthusiasts, let's crank up the 1440p in the ray tracing world, where clarity meets crisp shadows. The 4060 Ti continues to dominate, especially in big titles like Cyberpunk. But here's the plot twist. The RK750 is stepping up, challenging both AMD cards. In Hitman 3, the 4060 sneaks ahead of its counterpart the 4060 Ti, while AMD seems to lag with the A750 surpassing them. Possible VRAM issue perhaps. Nvidia's DLSS comes to the rescue, smoothly partnering with the CPU. AMD though seems to have a step behind in this dance. The 1440p summary? The RX 7600 and 6650 XT are chilling at the bottom, perhaps hunting for the lost pixels. The 4060 Ti leads the 3060 Ti by 26%. The 4060 charges ahead with a 37% edge over the 3060. Against the RX 6750 XT, the 4060 boosts a massive 60% lead. The 4060? Racing at almost triple the pace of the RX 7600. Wrapping up, Nvidia is not just playing, they're leading the pack in ray tracing of 1440p. It's more than just tech, it's an art. Stay tuned, stay ray traced, and see you at the next digital showdown. Ready for the ray tracing? breakdown? Hold on to your gear because the 4060 is leading the pack with its secret weapon, frame generation. The 4060 Ti follows closely with the 3060 securing its podium spot. Meanwhile AMD's lineup feels the chill. The RX 7600, it's settled at the chart's base. And FSR, AMD's supposed secret weapon, seems to have missed the memo. On to the efficiency front. The 4060 Ti shines with performance 2.2 times its predecessor. The 4060 is right on its heels at 2.1 times more efficient than its previous model. Head to head against the 6750 XT, the 4060 Ti is ahead by a whopping 144%. And the 4060? It's outclassing the 7600 by nearly three times. In the ray tracing world, the video isn't just leading, they're soaring. All right, team tech. After riding this graphic roller coaster, here's the lowdown you've been waiting for. The video shines brightly, especially with their 4060 Ti and 4060 Duo. The 4060 Ti, like the Valdectorian, consistently tops the charts, while the 4060 its trusty sidekick isn't too far behind, often surprising us and even eclipsing its older counterparts. Onto the AMD side, well, they try it. Their ray tracing feels like a torch in the stadium, and while the C750 XT made a valiant effort, it couldn't keep up with the Nvidia game. But there's a hero we didn't see coming, Intel's RK750. This underdog, with the help of XESS, didn't just play the game, it set a brand new league, often outshining its more established competitors. It's proof that it's not just about the size of the ship, but the motion of the ocean. However, one golden nugget to remember, Nvidia's dominance, particularly with the 40 series, owes a lot to frame generation. It's like the star quarterback with an MVP coach. It gives them an edge, but remember not every game supports this, so that lightning fast performance may not be universal. The 3060's value for money factor. Well, let's just say if Nvidia had a bargain bin, this would be the golden ticket inside. Great performance without making your wallet crack. For those of you looking for pure power regardless of price, Nvidia's your go-to. If value for money tops your list, the 3060's your buddy. And if you want to root for an underdog that's packing some serious punches, keep an eye out for Intel's ARC series. But remember, games and their support for these technologies will play a massive role, so always keep your specific gaming library in mind. Anyways guys, that's all for today. Make sure to do all the usual stuff, like this video, get subscribed, and turn on notifications. And also make sure to check out the video on screen on why we think the 3060 is the top choice for budget games.